right, let's get to your entertainment. It was a big day for Hollywood, so we had Emmy nominations out celebrating the best of TV. Also a major change today to movies in theaters as we know it, and that's where we're going to start tonight. Okay, AMC and Universal agreed movies are going to play now in theaters for only 17 days instead of 75 before they move on to home video. This changes the way Hollywood has essentially done business for decades. But of course, at this point, it is uncertain when exactly movie theaters will actually open. Okay, now going to those Emmy noms. We saw a mix of some groundbreaking new programs and also some familiar favorites for best limited series. HBO's Watchmen topped all with 26 total nods, followed by best comedy series nominee, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. They got 20 nominations. Okay, you also see here Insecure, There's Shit's Creek, The Good Place as well, all nominated for best comedy series. And then for best drama series, Disney Plus's The Mandalorian surprised with 15 nominations. Ozark and Succession each got 18. Now, in the midst of this uncertainty amid the pandemic, one thing is for sure. People have relied on what they see on their screens, right? The last few months, TV and film to get through the months of isolation. And comedy shows just like The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, a leader in Emmy nominations, really played a big part of that. Take a look. The year 2020 will be remembered as many things, including the year we all arguably needed some comic relief more than ever. I am not a prostitute. I'm a comic. Is there a difference? Yes. Prostitutes get paid more. Hello, Maren Mary. Hingle's nomination for supporting actress in a comedy series thankfully came at a time when she was finally able to reunite with her family. With my COVID test, I've done two weeks of quarantining and the whole family kind of congregated together and they all arrived at the doorbell at the exact same time as I got a text from an agent saying yay. And so it was one of those moments where I thought, I, I, I don't think I could be happier right now. The marvelous Mrs. Maisel led comedy nominations this year and had the second most noms overall, 20. A number of friends of mine watched it when it first came out in the fall. And then I get texts once in a while saying, you know what, I needed to laugh. I'm not in a good space and I need to kind of rewatch. As Variety senior editor Michael Schneider said, he thinks the huge celebration of this show is a sign of the times. People are looking for that sort of comfort food, uh, pleasant shows that are still really entertaining. Just like the year 2020 looked different to all of us, this year's list of nominees looked different too. The dirty little secret is no one has time to watch everything. So people gravitate to the things they're familiar with. That's why you see the same shows nominated year after year. Once they know a show, they're going to keep voting for it until something else pops up. I think this year, because people were at home, they're actually watching some new shows. From The Mandalorian making history at Disney Plus to half of this year's nominees for outstanding comedy series being new to the category, it's a refreshing list. Also different this year, a more even playing field. Netflix and Amazon were spending millions of dollars to promote their shows, and this kind of brought it back down. This, this is a very much an acoustic, stripped-down version of, of Emmy season. It's Emmys Unplugged. This may be the purest Emmys that we've seen in quite a while. The purest and perhaps the least glamorous. I wonder if some of the ornamentation will probably go away uh, because there's also like a perspective that one has to have right now that you don't want to get too frivolous in a time when, when there's such hardship. While her heart is focusing on the big things that matter right now, Lauren says it sure does feel nice to take a moment to celebrate everyone's love and perhaps need of Maisel comedy right now.